Here's the thing. 8.15 every morning, an alarm goes off on my phone. It has two words. Memento mori. It's Latin. It means, I, I think it roughly translates into mm, re remember you're mortal or remember that you're going to die. Now, <clears throat> I'll, granted, it's not the most peppy way to start a morning, but actually it is. Because when we are reminded that our, our life here at, on earth is finite, we get one go at this. You, you are born and, and you die. And what you do in between there is finite. It's time that you cannot get back. Is it really worth spending just one minute of this day worrying about what might happen or might not happen? For me, it helps because at 8.15 every morning, I'm usually revving up for the day. Usually I, I'm, I've sorted away some chores and I'm, I'm starting to look at my day. And my day is usually filled with meetings that are so important. And I have, I'm waiting for someone to give me, like, it, you get this job or, sorry, we, we picked another consultant. And that's obviously devastating to me. And I perhaps have a workshop to do. Maybe I have a presentation to a keynote or something like that. And there are hundreds, maybe thousands of people expecting to be handed some truths. And I feel, Jesus, little me, oh God. But when I get that message, 8.15, memento mori, I realize that that doesn't mean jack diddly squat 15 years from now. If this meeting goes well, if that meeting goes well. If the, if the, so what if I bomb in that presentation? Is my career over? Nah, I would probably be really sad and curl up in a fetal position and you know, drink gin tonics the rest of the weekend. But that's not the point. I will, I will survive. Memento mori at 8.15 every morning is a way for me to be reminded that life is finite. And it's so short that if I spend it on worrying or stressing out, then I will waste time on those emotions that they don't really carry me anywhere. So then I decide in that morning, you know, 8.15, I, I don't give a fuck how that goes. It might sound really harsh, but it gives me a way to go very relaxed. I don't lose my edge, but I lose the anxiety about it. See? It's actually an old stoic practice that is about enjoying the moment or just being in the moment, kind of mindful. The Stoics had a practice where they, they asked themselves, if this is the last time I do this, then would I do it differently? Would I experience it differently? If this is just a cup of coffee, you know, I have three or four of these every day, and I'm like, what the fuck? Hmm? But if this is the last cup of coffee that I'll ever drink, would I approach this experience differently? Hell yeah. I would look at the pitch black surface. I would smell. Mmm. It's almost like a coffee commercial. And I will savor every sip of this coffee. And if I'm sitting annoyed waiting for one of my kids outside some sort of you know, practice center, school or whatever, on a parking lot somewhere, late in the evening, I'm going, oh, hate this. Maybe that's a privilege. Maybe that's the good old days that I will long for when I'm 85 or 90. Maybe I will, be able, I will want to pay whatever it takes to be back in that car waiting for one of my kids to finish practice late in the evening. So if I look at that and I'm saying, what if this is the last time I pick up one of my kids, you know, uh, in this parking lot? Then, then I would really approach that situation differently. I would not stress over, ah, oh, Jesus, I should be home, you know, putting together that whatever furniture I'm trying to assemble at the time. I would instead say, I'm here, a privilege, waiting for my, one of my kids. And when she opens that door or he opens that door and sits down, I'm going to smile at them. You know? So that's my challenge to you. 8.15 or whatever time suits you, but set an alarm for every day reminding you that this life is precious. Memento mori. And have a good day. Mmm, coffee. Mmm. Coffee.